Hello YouTube and welcome to another Virtual Worlds tutorial. In today's video we're going to be learning how to make a simple toggable flashlight for first person shooters. Ok let's get started. This video assumes that you've already got a character ready to go whether it's third person or you're using a first person template. I'm using, actually using a third person template but I've created a first person camera view to get the true first person experience so when you look down you can see the legs and whatnot. So let's get started then. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your character, the character's blueprint that you, you want the flashlight uh, attached to. <clears throat> Click on viewport up here so you can see the character. Then go to add component and we're going to add a spotlight. So we'll look for spotlight. You want this one under lights, you want spotlight. And then we'll call Spotlight Flashlight. We'll give it name Flashlight. Then we'll move it up into just in front of the face and pull it out a bit. Let's have a look where that's situated. That looks pretty good. As you can see, it's got um, a cone that shows you how far the beam will reach and how wide, what the angle will be like, and the cone of it. So if we was to go to say, you want to make sure you're in intensity un units, I prefer mine on Candelar, attenuation radius on about 2500, as you can see it's got bigger, and then I like putting it in a cone on say 25 and the outer cone on 32, something like that. It's up to you if you want to choose uh, this one, cast shadows. It takes a little bit more resources, but it looks a bit more believable being a flashlight and it would cast shadows. And you can also mess with the intensity up here, how bright it will be. And when you've got that, make sure the flashlight is now a child of the follow camera or your camera, whatever you're using. So now, as you can see, it's now bobbing up and down with the character's head. Then after this, what you're going to want to do is give it a compile save it, close the window down, then under settings at, on, at the top of the screen, click on that, go to project settings and we're going to make a new mapping for it. So come down to where it says engine and go to input tab, click on that and then over here where it says action mappings, click on the plus and then where it says new action mapping zero or whatever number it says on your computer, just go ahead and give it the name flashlight and then give it an input binding this is the uh, input that they're going to use to toggle the flashlight so I'm going to use the F key on our keyboard you can feel free to choose whatever you want whether you want to use a gamepad a keyboard or a mouse or whatever you want to do or a PS4 maybe so I'm going to choose keyboard I'm going to scroll all the way down to like F so now that's bound to our F key. Remember what you've called it, flashlight there. We'll close that down and then open up your character's blueprint again. This time go to event graph, already there, we was on viewport before. In event graph, find some space. As you can see, that's all mine. My blueprints, we'll find some space. Right click and type input flashlight. And as you can see, it's got input action events flashlight because that's the name we called it in the input tab when we created our key binding. Click on that, zoom in a bit, and from pressed, we want to drag that out and type in flip flop or one word flip flop. Bit of a silly name, I know that's what it is, and it'll come up with flow control under utilities. Click on flip flop, and now you present it with A and B. What we want to do, I won't bore you with how this works, I'll just get on with it. From A, first of all, you want a flashlight selected up here in your components. Then from A, drag out and go to set visibility. And then it should come up with uh, the one you want is call function on flashlight, I think, called set visibility flashlight. So click on that. That should be plugged in. Drag flashlight down a little bit 
then drag out, then click on set visibility, press Ctrl and W to duplicate, drag it down a bit, then drag flashlight into the target of the new set visibility and make sure your top set visibility node, which is plugged into A, has got new visibility checked and make sure the bottom one is unchecked and plug B into the execution pin and set visibility at the bottom there. Give that a compile. No errors there, that's fine. Press save. And then if we just quickly put the character model, my character player, in the map somewhere. Just give it a moment to load in. Our oh, one last thing to do, go back into uh, your character's blueprint. Then go up to a third person character and come all the way down on the details panel to the right to get to something that's called if I can just find it a second Bear with me a second, I'm just looking for it. It might be in the wrong tab here. I'm not too sure. You might actually want flashlight selected, thinking about it. Click on flashlight under add component and then scroll down to get to where it says rendering. If it's visible, it's checked. That means the flashlight will start turned on. So if we uncheck that, that means the flashlight by default when you go into the game will be off. Then compile it, click save, click out of there. We'll start our game quickly. This is the game. If we go into a dark area, we'll test our flashlight. Go over here. It's a dark area. Now if I press F, it's a bit too bright as you can see it's not placed all the brick that that well it's a bit too bright if you want to adjust the brightness what you could do press f again turn it on and off let's quit out the game if you want to change the brightness go back into your, your blueprint for your character you're using then click on flashlight under the components tab and change say the intensity to 1000 and give that a compile and save and we'll play that we'll go over here and that's much better that's by pressing the FB you can adjust the cone size the circle size by adjusting your inner, your inner radius and your outer radius That's the, this is the game I'm currently working on, Back from the Dead. This is my zombie game, it's the medieval part, uh, time period you travel, time travel back to in case you're wondering what this this level is here. I'll give you a little quick tour if you like while you're here, just let's get a quick wander around. It's not very far into development, it's still got another, like, another two years development. I'm only making it by myself. No one's helping me, so it's just me by myself. This is what I've done so far, it's after about a few days work. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore with that. That's your basic working toggleable flashlight. On, off, on, off, and I found the F key. Feel free to use whatever key you like. If you like this video at all, YouTube, please give it a like. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thank you very much, and have a great day.